This is how to use one of the most popular DJ softwares out there known as Serato. This is what I use for professional use. Um, first of all, you gotta figure out if you're going to use vinyl or CD uh, players uh, or the CDJ. I personally use vinyl uh, turntables. So the program comes with the vinyl control. If you're uh, using CD players or the CDJs, they're gonna, uh, the program also provides the CD controllers. Um, this is what allows you to pick up the signal from the program. Um, this particular mixer uh, that I'm using is the, T is the Rain TTM 57. It has Serato built in the, the mixer. It has a USB port, so um, I'm connecting directly from the mixer to my laptop. I'm using a MacBook Pro, and I'm running uh, Snow Leopard on, uh, that's the operating system that I'm using on the MacBook Pro. Um, so I'm going to plug in the USB, if you notice, once I open up the program, the program provides you with a player. This allows you to go through your crates as you see on the left. Um, and within each crate I have music. Uh, I created a playlist. So now the song is loaded. I, I, I held down the shift key and the left arrow and that allowed me to load up the song. As you see on the player, it shows you the wave of the song. Um, and this white line here is an indicator of where you're at in that song. I'm gonna plug in the USB so you can see the full screen of what the program looks like. I plug in the USB, give it a second. That's the full program right there. You see uh, this track that I loaded, I loaded on uh, the left deck or the left player. Um, there's different ways you can actually look at the waves. You can choose to use uh, the vertical display or the horizontal display. There's a couple of other displays that are available. This is how you will create a cue point. It's simple. You just pretty much place your needle. If you are using turntables, place your needle on the record. You can move the wave by moving the record. And you just bring the wave to that white line. So you can set a cue point by just pressing this plus sign here. You can get rid of it by hitting the X. You'll see a green, a green shade that, that appears. And then you just select when to punch out and it'll repeat. There's, there's your loop. So when it's a solid green color, that means that the loop is activated if you would like to actually try to give it a go and you know give give it a little test run you can come to uh, your local record store like rock and soul walk in speak to one of the sales reps and hopefully they can set it up for you and give you a a, a more in-depth breakdown on how to use the program hopefully you'll you'll get to enjoy using this program as much as i do mm -hmm.